Hey guys and welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video we're gonna discuss what's better. Should you farm Hell Stage 2 if you can obviously or should you just continue farming Stage 12? Uh, I had a lot of comments of people asking me what do I do? do did I keep farming 12? Did I farm? Do I farm right now Hell Stage 2? What's the best to do? What should I do? And <laughs> For the very first time, guys, since we started YouTube, I had to do a spreadsheet. I did, I, I obviously I didn't do Excel sheet. I'm not going to pay a fucking subscription to Excel, fuck them. But I use Google spreadsheet. So obviously the link will be in the description if you want to check it on your own, calculate, prove me wrong, whatever. It's up to you. The link will be in the description. But let's jump into the spreadsheet. So basically what I did was I did 11 runs on uh, Queen's, Queen of Tides 12 with my speed team. And then I did 4 runs of Queen of Tides Hell 2 with the team I created and did a video about. So we have Evra, Zatlux, uh, Hakrim and Santis, right? So if you don't know how to do it, uh, make sure to watch my video. I explain how to farm Hell, uh, Queen of Tides Hell 2 with those specific heroes, what gear you need. The link will be also in the description. But as you can see right now, how it stands, without Agangelo, my fastest team for Queen of Hell 2 is average 53, 50, let's say 53 minutes for 10 runs. However, on Queen of Tides 12, my average time is 13 minutes, right? Yeah, let's say 30, 30 minutes, right? It's like one minute, one, yeah, 1 1.1, 1 1.13 uh, per run, something like that, regardless. If you want, uh, on the link, you also can see in the tabs below, uh, I added all the screenshots from every single run I did and I took into this calculation. So you, because most of people who do Excel files online, I don't know, their information is coming from uh, Wikipedia or something, I don't know. But yeah, anyone, you will have proof for, for what I'm saying as well. Uh, but regardless, let's just jump into it. So as you can see, uh, I made it a very simple because one, I'm shit when it comes to Excel and I just don't want to be bothered. And two, I don't care. Uh, just listen to me. <laughs> no jokes, jokes, jokes. Please don't comment. Oh, fuck off. Anyway, so Queen of Tides 12. What we can see? We can see that uh, in 147 minutes, I farmed way more. Uh, I mean, way more. I farm, uh, yeah, I got way more six star gear uh, than if I farm Hell 2 with the current comp. I got more charms and more XP, gear XP from the charms in the Hell 1, uh, but again, I didn't count five star gear in this. Obviously, Hell 2, you only get 6 stars, so every single gear I dropped is in this list. But for Queen of Tides 12, I did not include 5 star gear, which potentially can be also used as XP. I just used the charms, but again, the charms, we don't care. We are not here for the charms, we are here for the 6 star gear. And just to understand what's better or what's worse. From what we can see is, is it's very simple. If you can farm Queen of Tides, within one minute, one minute 30, you will farm more six star gear if you farmed hell two within five minutes per run. Now, yes, I think there is speed comps of two, two maybe two or three minutes for Queen of Tides uh, hell two, but you need Gangelo. With Ga without Gangelo right now, I haven't seen any speed farm team for the Queen so far. The fastest I saw without Gangelo is between 4.30 and 5 minutes as well. So it's almost the same as my team, but I don't know if it's 100% success. My team is 100% no fail. You can also check it on the screenshots. But again, what does it show us? Like, it shows us basically that if I would need to do another like what uh, six complete runs to uh, 
catch up to the 214 minutes of the runs of Hell 2. So bas basically, I would have almost the double of the six star gear pieces than I would in Hell 2. So having all this information, uh, I won't take you very much time. It's very simple. If you are free to play and you are limited in energy, farm Hell 2 if you can or Hell 1. It's fine as well. If you have infinite energy, farm Queen of Tides 12. Now, if there is a team that you know or will be created in the next days or someone will find an amazing team with or without Gangelo, regardless, if we reduce the time of Hell 2 from 50 minutes average to, let's say, 30 minutes, this, I guess, I think Hell 2 only then should be better overall. But for the moment, if you are able to speed farm Queen of Tides 12 and you are not limited in energy, it's better. If you are limited in energy, Hell 1, Hell 2 is better. Now, again, like I said, if Hell 2 becomes faster, obviously we're going to retest it and rerun it. Uh, again, it depends how fast you can do it. But time wisely and six star gear pieces wisely, obtention of the amount of six star gear, it's better to start speed farm Queen of Tides 12. Energy wisely, it's a fucking infinite pool hole that you will never uh, f fill in right so obviously it is faster but it eats like it's really not worth it in energy to f speed farm queen of tides 12 but again for people who spent for me i don't care i can farm it i can afford it if you are free to play a low spender and you cannot afford to dump so much energy into this go to hell one hell two the, the, the answer is easy and it's to make it like that. If you need 6 star gear and you don't care about energy, Queen of, Tide, Queen of Tides 12. If you are limited in energy uh, and you don't care about the time, Hell 1, Hell 2. And, and that's it. Like, the, the answer is easy. You have energy, Queen of Tides 12. You don't have energy, Hell 2 at the moment. We're going to see how does it evolve. We're going to see if there are any new teams that come out. For now, how that's how it is. Uh, that's how it is with my teams. And that's how it's for me. So, the question that people ask me, should I farm Hell 2 or Queen of Tides 12? Yes, farm Queen of Tides 12 if you have energy, infinite. No, farm Hell 2 if you have uh, no energy or Hell 1, it's the same. That's it. I hope it helped you. Guys, don't stress out for all of those that cannot do Hell 1, Hell 2, but are farming quite fast Hell Queen of Tides 12. It's fine. You can continue to do it. But just know that you are wasting energy. Let's call it by name. You are completely wasting energy, uh, but you are earning time and you are earning faster and more gear. Okay, guys, I hope it helped you. I hope it answered your question. Uh, and yeah. Never again, I will do an Excel file. Stop asking me to do that. You have other YouTubers who apparently have a subscription to Excel for the whole life. Just ask them. <laughs> All, next time, I swear to God, I will do again a screenshot and just put it, farm this, that's it. Okay? Like, believe in me, trust. There has to be some trust. And since I trust you guys, I'm sure you're gonna follow me. You're gonna join my Discord and you're gonna follow me on Twitch and all the links are in the description, like always, guys. Ah, it's Friday evening and I'm a bit tipsy. Anyway, guys, <laughs> enjoy your weekend. It's Friday, have fun, don't be too wild. Remember, tomorrow is another day and I will see you in another video, guys. <laughs>